If you're the type of person on Roblox SCP-3008 that loves to build a lot, you definitely know how time consuming it can be. So in this video, I'm going to be trying to save my time by finding out how long it takes to build a Roblox SCP-3008 base. I'm going to be building a base that takes one minute, one that takes five, and then one that takes ten minutes. Now for those who need an intro, howdy raid here, welcome back to an all new video. All I really have to say is subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one, but let's get into that time to build Building. If you're wondering what the rules of this challenge are, I'm in a private server, I'm not allowed to spawn anything, so everything I build for this base has to be found around me, and there's no exact specific materials I need for my base, I can just make it like a mumbo jumbo base made with every single piece of furniture I can find. As you guys know, gotta have that 0.5 snap to grid range, it's pretty helpful. Also guys, I think I might be building on these like table plots, cause I see there's one right there, so it's gonna be easier to build like the one minute base on this plot and then move on to this plot over here and look at that there's a third plot right there just so that i don't have to like build in a whole entire new location or destroy each build and then rebuild it to start things off i'm gonna tell my alexa to start a one minute timer and you guys will hear the timer beep in my microphone so that's when i know that it's time to stop all right alexa start a timer for one minute one minute starting now Ah, oh, darn, dude. I was just about to work on the roof. By the way, if you got this far in the video, go comment clock down below and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. It would really help me out. Okay, so the base is not the best. One minute isn't a crazy amount of time to build a base. I barely built like a box thing right here. But listen, you got four walls and there's a slide in door so most employees can't get through. You know, if I was worried about employees getting through, I would probably lower it just a little bit all this base really needed was a roof this is a good starter base listen guys if you have like two minutes left on the timer maybe you just joined a new server and you don't want to die maybe you have like no stamina at all so you can't run building a base like this is really simple all you need is a few walls you don't have to make the base too big once again if i had a little bit more time i probably would have added a decoration definitely a roof because that's just so important but now that i built the one minute base it's time to get to the five minute base this is the plot that i'm going to be building on so now alexa set a timer for five minutes five minutes starting now all righty let's do this Just when I placed Blahage. Okay, that's actually really, really good timing. This isn't the prettiest base in the world. I was kind of scavenging for everything that I could find. I ended up using wardrobes, bookcases, queen-sized beds, regular little smaller tables, and kitchen tables. From the outside, the base is kind of clunky. It's not the prettiest in the base. I did try to, like, line up the kitchen tables neatly. I don't know if it's just me, but it seemed like the wardrobe versus the bookcase had, like, a size difference. Difference. I don't know if they're like smaller. Let me actually grab a wardrobe. I'm like really curious right now. Are they actually the same size or is one of them smaller than the other? So let's see. Uh, 
I mean, they kind of look like the same size. I guess maybe I just placed them incorrectly. Maybe they are a different size. If you guys know, tell me in the comments down below. Now, there is a lot of Z fighting on this base. It's not pretty at all, but I did try to add a lamp just so that like a player could find it if they were surviving at night. Inside of the base, it's really simple. There's just a tall lamp, a little green chair, and the boy Blahaj. No! I didn't want to delete him. No! I was trying to zoom in and I accidentally pressed X. R.I.P. Blahaj. This base is definitely bigger than the one minute base. The cool thing about wardrobes is that if you have extra friends, you can trap them in here, I guess. Personally, I don't have enough friends to fill this thing up, but maybe you guys do. But my friends, it is now time for the 10 minute base build. I'm truly wondering what I could build in 10 minutes and just so everybody knows I haven't really scouted out the whole area when I was choosing an area for the video I literally just chose random plots I feel like that makes things so much more fun just because I don't know where or what I'm going to be building with but yeah let's do this Alexa set a timer for 10 minutes 10 minutes starting now Dude, it sucks. I was gonna add this, but I guess I can't. So this is the base. I had a lot of time, so that's actually more time where I could focus on decorations, whereas with the other bases, you guys know I had to focus on the foundation. Let's go through an external view. I used queen-sized beds. I was able to kind of match up the colors, and then going around, I had a black couch, a brown couch, and a white couch. Kind of like a chocolate, vanilla, ice cream flavor. I don't know. More couches on this side. I don't know why I had to flip this one over, but then I used a blue pool table to fill this whole wall up because I ran out of couches. Couches. And then on this side, I also used couches again. And on the front of the base, I had a lot of lighting. I used the purple LED lights, and then I had some tall lamps, and of course, the painting of the rock. Going inside the base, I had a lot more time to decorate. You know, I got a few wall decorations on here. I have a big red couch with a TV. And then if you guys know Iron Man, he's one of my favorite superheroes. I kind of tried to make like the Iron Man Hall of Armor. I don't know why. I just saw like this space between the couches kind of like in the other base. And I saw all these mannequins and I was like, dude, this would kind of look like the Hall of Armor. So I did it. And then back here, we have the toilet of shame. That's where you go like to sit on and poop if you're in trouble or something. You know, shame on you, Mr. Mannequin. You're going on the toilet of shame. Let's put this guy in. Now the roof is actually made up out of 
of a lot of different stuff. I used two bar tables, a green pool table, four different beds that are actually the colors of Ikea, blue and yellow, and then some bathtubs. And overall, I was rushing myself, but I didn't feel like I wouldn't have enough time to finish the base. It was really good to be able to like put in that last couch and work on the ceiling. And honestly, it's really, really nice when you have time to like decorate your base, just because decorated bases feel so much more alive. My favorite part of the base is probably these LED lights. If you guys can see, I tried to hang them up on like the edges of the bed. I knew that I could build something nice in 10 minutes, but I didn't think that one minute would be so little time. I honestly thought I could build so much more. But this right here is the crown jewel of my video. I was also going to just add this in, but the timer hit, so I couldn't. So tell me in the comments below, which of these bases would you guys live in? Would you live in the one minute base, five minute base, or 10 minute base? Now, if you enjoyed watching this video and you want to see more SCP-3008 videos like this one, click on that playlist for all my newest Roblox SCP-3008 videos. But it's been Raid and I will see you all tomorrow.